Hi, I'm Tamara with TamaraBlossom.com and this is video three in my seven part video series of Introduction to the Jade Egg Practice. So today I want to talk a bit about the background, the Taoist philosophy and where the Jade Egg Practice comes from. Because just going to practice the Jade Egg without knowing or understanding any of this stuff, it's kind of like taking up yoga practice just for the physical movement when you have no idea about all of the other philosophy and the, the meditation and the breath work and all of that stuff, it's kind of like skimming the surface and it, it, it's kind of a superficial way to enter into this sacred practice. So Taoism has been around for <laughs> probably at least 10,000 years. It comes from ancient China and the Jade Egg practice was almost wiped out when the feminine practices and ways were being shunned down but they were kept alive by certain priestesses and they were given from mentor to student, mentor to student over the years. And eventually they came out west and we have access to this brilliant methodology. And my journey, personally, this little guy has transformed me immensely. It's been an amazing healing ally. So Taoism, Taoism is more of a philosophy and a way of life than a religion. And if there's a founder of Taoism, it would be Lao Tzu who wrote the Tao Te Ching. Most of us are familiar with the symbol of Taoism, the yin and yang symbol, that within the dark there's a light and within the light there's dark. And so that has a huge component in everything that we do in the Jade Egg practice. So Taoism is like, like the way and Jade Egg practice is a piece of it. The other piece would be Qigong practice, the cultivation of Qi. And really the Jade Egg would be kind of like another form of Qigong because you're cultivating your Qi from within your womb, right? You can just practice the Jade Egg. I can't tell you what you can or cannot do. But in my opinion, you want to complement it with the other practices, with certain breath practices, with certain movement practices and other complementary qigong like sexual vitality qigong. For example, considered inseparable from the jade egg practice itself would be genital breathing, like yoni breathing, or um, the orgasmic upward draw, or kidney breathing. So all of these are pieces that are important to know on your journey of learning the jade egg practice. And there are countless other forms of Qigong, of energy cultivation and, and basically, if you might, just movement practices that open the body, but with awareness of the life force energy moving through your body that help you on this journey, right? So they're just going to enhance everything that you do. And the more open and the more Qi, the more life force energy flowing through your body, your whole body, the more you're going to be able to access it and, and work with it, right? It's all, it's all a practice. It's all an attitude on life, you know? So the biggest takeaway I would say is that Taoism is about energy and bringing together the body-mind. It's about longevity and harmonizing. Harmonizing, harmonizing, harmonizing. It's really all about balance. Everything in moderation. And I'm just going to add here. So I have coined my own term for a practice. I call it Yoni Alchemy. And the Jade Egg practice and all of its um, pieces are a part of my Yoni Alchemy practice, a really big part of it, actually. And it's helping me get more in touch with my body, my sexuality, but just even my whole body and love this being, this flesh, you know, really being present and seeing myself as sacred. It's helping me move my energy up my spine, which really like, I guess if there was a goal, that that would be the goal is to learn how to move the energy that sits down here in our, in our sexual organs and move it up, open the heart, open the throat, speak our truth, and open our awareness to the world, to the, to the universe, to the cosmos, right? So it's really about 
expanding our consciousness. So that is understanding a little bit about Taoism for you today in video three. And tomorrow, video four, we're going to talk about preparing your jade egg so you can actually begin your practice. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I share lots and lots of great information.